Wasn't quite sure, but made certain there, Jay Linton. So going to try and run into some open space. Linton fending off one, two, three, Curry players. Now up towards the 22. Home support on their feet as Linton is inside that 22 now. Hoyt looking to recycle some ball here. Penalty awarded to the home side. This penalty then to level the game. Hoyk been behind us for the matter of a couple of minutes. A big cheer around Mansfield Park and we're all square. Callum Rennick leading the defensive cover there for the Greens. Curry with those gold numbers in the black jerseys this afternoon. Now the galloping major, away he goes, taken on. The loose head brought there. Chris Anderson up towards the edge of the 22, recycled ball, on towards Greg Canney, out on this left-hand side, DJ Ennis now, finds Ian Sim, and Sims in, in the corner, and that's a wonderful curry score. They spread the ball out wide, the handling was assured on this occasion, but it was powerful running from the forwards. Curry leading by 11 points to three, and they have five points from the latest visit to the Doik 22. And they've won the line out now, we'll see what uh, Hoyt can do here as uh, Rennick looking to try and join in the drive. Hoyt getting closer towards the line, can they get a clean grounding? Todd then raises the arm and Hoyt finally find a way across the dry line on the stroke off half time to give them more than a foothold back into the contest. 11-8 with the kick to come. Arms by his sides, just beyond that 10 metre line, glancing up at the posts. Onto the tiptoes, then steps forward. Clean strike of the ball. And there's the three points that will give Hoyt the lead. 14 points to 11. And the ball into this scrummage. And Curry trying to make some ground. Picked up then by Boyer. On towards the fly half. They've got a bit of width on here. Curry and it could be in the corner. The referee raising the arm. Cody McGovern in the corner. Curry leaping for joy. Hoyt were stretched, McGovern was across on that right-hand side, he's over for the try, 14-16, the conversion will make it more than a penalty required, there's an awful lot resting on this kick from Jamie Forbes, and it's an acute angle as well. McKean across on this left-hand side, is desperate for Hoyt to try and spread the ball wide because he's got a, a bit of width. Advantage coming the way of Hoyt, and it's now with uh, Sean Muir again. Muir is tackled, Curry looking to try and spread the defence. It's out towards the left-hand side, and then the over for the score. The referee looks towards the assistant, she keeps the flag down. McKean was calling for the ball, and McKean's in for the try. The assistant goes underneath the post, we'll see it again. He peeled away on the left-hand side, the long loop pass. Curry simply could not get to him, and he's in for the score. Spectators are on the pitch celebrating. There was the roll away as Curry had too many men committed. The 13th championship for Hoyk, of course, coming in different guises through the restructuring in 74 right through to 2002, and then, of course, the restructuring again in more recent times. That looks as if it's going to drift in and over it has. And the referee blows for full time, and Hoyk have engineered the victory by 21 points to 18. Hoyk lifting the trophy. The champagne has been on ice. It was almost taken off ice and put back in the cupboard when Cody McGovern scampered in in the corner in the final two minutes to give Curry the lead with that conversion added and Hoyt coming to claw back a four-point deficit with 13 men on the park, but somehow they found a way.